What is up guys, Coding Jesus here. Guys, today I wanted to make a video that's an updated version of my 2021 hit video on everything you need to know to become a quant trader. Now, for those of you that don't know, I am a senior software engineer in the world of quantitative trading. I manage a team. I speak and interact with quantitative traders on a pretty much daily basis, and I've reached out to them to help me collate this list of resources that will help you break into quant trading. The first book, that I will recommend is a book that I've recommend, pr recommended prior, and that is Option Volatility and Pricing, okay? This book is gonna be critical. It's still gonna be critical. It's like the Holy Bible. I recommended it three years ago. I'm gonna recommend it today because it's not going anywhere, okay? This is kind of like the book that you need to read if you'd like to dip your toes into the world of quantitative trading, okay? It's written by a 30-year-old, uh, or uh, not a 30-year-old, a trading professional with 30 years of experience. It covers foundations of option theory, uh, dynamic hedging, volatility, directional trading strategies, risk analysis, position analysis, uh, theoretical pricing models, real-world implications of those models. It pretty much covers everything, okay? The best part of this book is that it breaks down everything in a very simple and easy to understand way. I read this book like years ago, okay? And I don't know if you can see, when I read a book, I'll like write notes. I'll like scribble in it. So if you open to a random page, you see I have my, my little scribbles in there. Uh, so I can go back when I need to and, and kind of understand the most important parts, okay? What's really good about this, guys, is it's not like some dry technical book. There's graphs, charts, examples. And even as a quantitative developer, as a software engineer in the world of quantitative trading, it was not hard for me to read at all. You're gonna need to read this anyways when you get the job. So you might as well do it beforehand and impress the interviewer. Okay. Now, another book that I think is going to be a good extension of this book is going to be a book on market making and the more practical side of quantitative trading. Okay. Now, this is a book, Option Market Making, Trading and Risk for Financial and Commodity Options Markets. It's relatively small and it's expensive for the amount of pages that it has. But if you're going to want to learn and you're going to want to go to the good stuff, you're going to need to spend some money on the good stuff. Okay, this book gives you a deeper understanding into particular the, uh, the operations of market making, uh, which every proprietary trading firm pretty much in existence is doing market making. Okay, so you're going to need to go to this book. It starts off with the basics as to terminology, uh, think fair value models, volatility contracts, uh, difference between options markets, option risk, risk, risk management. Um, it goes into a range of different risk profiles as well. It also goes into strategies, so calendar spreads, um, delta neutral strategies, gamma trading, risk-free arbitrage. It goes into a lot of that in this book, okay? So this is going to be a valuable book to gain more of the practical side of the world of quantitative trading. Now, a lot of people ask me, Coding Jesus, do I need to learn how to code to become a quantitative trader? Well, if you look at the formal job requirements for most jobs, they'll say that coding isn't a requirement, but it's a nice to have. Now, obviously, if I'm here recommending for you guys ways to break into quantitative trading, I'm not going to tell you don't pursue things that companies recommend you pursue. And that's why I wanted to introduce a resource that's particular to help you guys learn what you need for the coding component of becoming a quantitative trader. Now, I recommended this book in my previous video, and it is a time-tested book, and that is Python for Data Analysis, okay? When you think about data analysis in the world of quantitative trading, what you're going to need to know in particular is things like manipulating data for time series and non-time series data, and most of this data has already been processed for you by a software engineer or quantitative developer. So, so there are some data lakes, some data warehouse with information. You're going to need to know how to get that data, wrangle it, mangle it, clean it, do whatever you need to be able to draw insights from that data. This book covers a bunch of libraries that are going to be relevant for you. It covers pandas, numpy, scipy. Uh, it covers seaborn. Um, I think it might cover plotly and matplotlib, but regardless, it does cover visualizations. So this is going to be a very important book for you to be able to draw insights from data to help you improve your trading at the firm that you work at. Now, a lot of you also ask me about a relevant math book. And math is going to be very important to help you pass those technical screens. You might not be using this math per se every day on the job. That's more kind of the quant researcher side to be more familiar with the math aspect. But regardless, they're going to want to make sure you pass a minimum technical bar when it comes to probability, statistics, maybe some mental math, some brain teasers, etc. The best way to kind of bolster that that foundation that you might already have or build a foundation if you don't have it in the world of math, probability, and statistics is going to be this book. 
Bayesian Statistics, The Fun Way. Okay, I read this book as well. It was very fun, as the title recommends. Um, it goes into a lot of key concepts, a lot of key concepts that are going to be important for helping you solve problems that you can find on QuantGuide.io, for example. What I liked about this is that you don't really need a math background to get into this. I don't have a math background, and I found it very digestible. Okay, what this book focuses on in particular is things like measuring uncertainty, using probability theory, uh, Bayes' theorem, it compares likelihoods, hypothesis, hypothesis testing, and drawing conclusions. Okay, this book's going to be very important for that, like I said, technical screening. Okay, the last book was actually recommended to me by a risk manager. Now, I like this book because it talks about both the history of quant trading. If you didn't have your ear to the ground or were in the industry, this is going to be important. It also talks about low-level and high-level considerations for a quantitative trader on a day-to-day -day basis. That involves um, inputs to their model, so their alpha models, their portfolio construction models, their risk models, their transaction cost models, uh, order execution, data, research, order flow, etc. Okay? When I talk about the history of quantitative trading and high-frequency trading, what I'm referring to is things like advancements, controversies, etc. So if you weren't part of the industry, you're going to want to know or become up to speed with how the world of quantitative trading works. And that's why I recommend this book, Inside the Black Box. It's called Inside the Black Box because it kind of demystifies the world of quantitative trading. So for those of you that are trying to enter the industry but are kind of mystified as to what really goes on, this is going to be an important book for you from the perspective of a quantitative trader or kind of like quasi-risk manager.